Welcome back to the 6th Gear Garage. I get a lot of questions about the optional vent windows on these old Toyota trucks. So today, I'll show how to take one apart and we'll look at each component. This is for an 84 to 88 truck, but the earlier pickups, 89 to 95 pickups, had them as well. But I don't see them much on the 89 to 95 trucks. I already have a full video showing how to disassemble the door to remove the vent window assembly and I'll put that link in the description. But here's the cliff notes. So that will get you to this point. And hopefully your vent window frame doesn't look like this one. Or your truck's frame for that matter. If you're subscribed to the channel, you know rust is standard here in Ohio. So this doesn't even surprise me anymore. I'm not just going to toss this out though because these are discontinued by Toyota and there are some good usable parts here. The metal locking latch broke on my 85 and it's attached to the glass so I'll be keeping this glass with the latch. The last time I checked these rubber seals were still discontinued so I'll list them with my other used OEM Toyota parts. I'll put a link to the store in the description. Although a lot of these parts for the older trucks have been discontinued, it doesn't hurt to stop by your local dealership because Toyota has started to reproduce some obsolete older parts for their vintage vehicles. So look away from the cancer and this nut under the spring here is the adjustment to make the glass easier to swivel. So if your vent window doesn't stay in place from the wind on the highway, you'll want to tighten this nut. I've let this soak in PV for a couple of days Hopefully it comes off without breaking anything. So to take this all the way apart, the first thing I need to do is bend these two tabs back. And a flathead screwdriver works well for that. Then just get a 10 millimeter wrench. This might be seized from rust. Bend these out a little more. There's the nut and the tab and the washer and spring. The other washer, it's actually two, a metal washer with a nylon one stuck to it. Next, grab a number two Phillips and remove this screw. Now the glass is almost free. I just need to slide the post out from the frame. The post is stuck. This might need a little more PB blaster. We'll let that sit for a little bit. Normally I don't recommend using a hammer on glass things, but hopefully some taps will help free things up. I just need to make sure my glass isn't hitting this metal bracket when I'm doing this. This right here is what is seized. It's a thick washer or a spacer that should slide off this post, but it seems to be rusted in place. Maybe I can pry it up. It's kind of hard to get any leverage though because the frame is so thin from rust it's just bending. It's starting to move. There it is. Finally. Here's the washer and spacer that was rusted in place. Normally you peel the rubber seal out of the frame but here in Ohio, you just peel the frame off the seal. And there it is. A soak in a scrub, and I think it'll clean up nice. Today's video was brought to you by Road Salt, reminding you to never buy a truck from Ohio. Real quick, I want to go over the order of these parts to put this back together. First you have the spacer, the really thick piece that was seized on mine. Next the washer. And then the post would go through the little bracket on the frame. And this is the nylon plus metal washer. Nylon faces the bracket, metal faces the spring. And then the spring, and the metal washer, the metal tab, only goes on one way. And last, the 10 millimeter nut. I don't want to lose this chrome round trim piece. 
and the inside screw threads into it. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing for more how to videos and project vehicle updates here at the 6th Gear Garage. I just need to slide the post out from the frame. Oh, hello. And we have a guest on set today. Hey, kitty. Good boy.